When you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father who is in the secret place. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin, Do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. First, remove the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you in pieces. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. In everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. Thank you. 
Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it, because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Beware of false prophets, who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Follow me, and let the dead bury the dead. Son, be of good cheer. Your sins are forgiven you. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Be of good cheer, daughter. Your faith has made you well. According to your faith, let it be to you. Pray the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into his harvest. As you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Provide neither gold nor silver nor copper in your money belts, nor bag for your journey, nor two tunics, nor sandals, nor staffs, for a worker is worthy of his food. Whatever town or village you enter, search there for some worthy person and stay at their house until you leave. As you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and scourge you in their synagogues. When they deliver you up, do not worry about how or what you should speak, for it will be given to you in that hour what you should speak. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father who speaks in you. Amen. 
when you are persecuted in one place, flee to another. Do not fear them, for there is nothing covered that will not be revealed, and hidden that will not be known. Whatever I tell you in the dark, speak in the light, and what you hear in the ear, preach on the rooftops. Do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Don't be afraid, you are worth more than many sparrows. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree bad and its fruit bad for a tree is known by its fruit. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Listen and understand. What goes into someone's mouth does not defile them, but what comes out of their mouth, that is what defiles them. Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Hello, you want something to read about Christmas? Are you celebrating Christmas in reverence of Jesus Christ? Or are you celebrating Christmas with Santa Claus in your mind? Want to read something? Oh, I will repent. You have repented.
repent you, and I will not perish. You're not sitting anymore? Sorry? Are you still sitting? Here, you want something to read about Christmas? About Christmas. It's showing you... Uh, more about Christmas than you do. I, I beg your pardon? Uh, yeah, I was uh, an big party. I will not perish. Yeah? God bless you. Have yourself a good day. Believe and trust in Jesus. He's the reason for the season. It's Jesus Christ we, would, we should have in our mind during Christmas time. Not about Santa Claus as on the gifts and decoration. I know a lot of people are here to look at some decorations, but that's not the reason why I'm here. I'm here to spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. My police officers, I don't know, if they're after a street preacher somewhere. <laughs> good evening, everyone. The reason why I'm here today it's to lift up and glorify a man's name where there is no salvation in any other but only through him acts 4 12 nor is there salvation in any other good evening sir how are you good. Uh, so are you a christian yeah yeah do you believe do you celebrate christmas yes you think of jesus christ yeah he's the one He's the, he's the, he's the re reason for the season. For sure, yeah. Don't, God bless you. Yeah, have yourself a good day. Merry Christmas. God bless you. Okay. <sighs> Acts 4.12 Nor is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Where every knee shall bow and every tongue confess and that man's name is Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes, friends, it's Jesus Christ I'm speaking of. And he is the only one who can save us and no one else. Jesus said in John 14 and 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Amen. Good day, how are you? Good, yourself? You celebrate Christmas? Do you believe in God? Do you believe in Jesus? I do not. Well, I don't know if you can still celebrate Christmas. It's going to be lonely at Christmas time for you. Unless you celebrate something else, which I don't blame you in a way, because Jesus Christ was not born on December 25th. That was a lie, as a lie. Jesus Christ was born during the Feast of Tabernacle. And I, I would say between August and September. That's about the time when he was born. Yes, folks. Most people are coming here to look at the lights, these beautiful decorations. I'm not here for that reason, even though they look very pretty. <clears throat> but what is more pretty to me, it's really what, why we're celebrating Christmas. Are we celebrating Christmas in Jesus Christ's mind or Santa Claus' mind? You know, there's no such thing as Santa Claus. <clears throat> That's another thing that people lie to their children. And you know what the Bible says for those who lies? They will have their part in the lake of fire with fire and brimstone. Yes, folks. Tell them the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Because if you're lying, you will go to hell. 
And I don't want that to you to happen to you. That's why I'm here. To give you the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Come to Christ. You guys want something to read? You guys want some gospel track? You guys believe in Jesus? Well, if you don't answer, I guess you don't. That's okay. One day you're going to see him. I'm just here to introduce you to him before you see him. I'm inviting you guys to a wonderful wedding feast. You are invited. All you have to do is to accept his free grace, grace of salvation. That's all you need. You could get married. You could be his bride. Don't you want to be his bride? He would be a wonderful husband because he's true. He never lies. He's faithful. God bless you, sir. Have a good day. Come to Christ. <clears throat> Come to Christ. Yeah, I guess not too many are coming to him. And certainly not at Christmas time. It's the worst season for the professing Christians because it's the international <coughs> day of covetousness. Yeah, people want this, I want that, I want this gift, I want this game, I want this computer, I want a cell phone, but I don't want Jesus. That's the problem with today. The greatest gift is Jesus. Why don't you take that one? He will give you an eternal life, not your cell phone. Your cell phone is just temporarily. Your computer is just temporarily. And it depends on what you use your computer for. If you use it for good use, then it's okay. But if you're using your computer to watch porn, to watch silly movies, Netflix, things like that, well, I wouldn't recommend you to watch that. <clears throat> or if you do have a computer, if you have the intention of doing that, just throw it away. Get rid of it, because it's going to damn you. Yes, my friend, I'm here to tell you the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. The truth is Jesus Christ, the faithful one. The one who shed his blood on Calvary for you to be saved from your sin and not be in bondage of slavery, of sin. He came to release you the bondage of sin. Take his offer. Oh, what a wonderful thing I did. I'm very happy that I took that because I know I'm going to be invited to a nice wedding feast. <clears throat> a wedding feast that nobody would ever see in it their entire life. It's unimaginable. It's beyond our comprehensions. You know who's going to be serving your meal? Yes, Jesus Christ. He's the one who's going to serve your meal to his bride. Oh, I can't wait for that day. Oh, come quickly, Jesus. Come quickly, Maranatha. Walk with Christ. Talk about Christ. Don't be ashamed of him. He was not ashamed of you. Believe and trust in Jesus Christ. God command all men and all women everywhere to repent because there's coming a day where he would judge the world in righteousness. He's coming back, boys and girls. <laughs> it's not Santa Claus. Santa Claus is coming, but he's not the one who's going to save you. And first of all, there's no such thing as Santa Claus. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Satan is using that to take your mind off and your eyes off of Jesus Christ. And we fell for it. I have to admit it, I fell for it too. My parents lied to me about it. <clears throat> they didn't know. They lied to me. And I didn't even know also. I lied to my children as well. But now I see better. I know what I've done. And I ask forgiveness for that lie. I repented of it. No, I tell them. And I, <clears throat> and I have the intention of telling. I have something to tell you. I want to forgive you. I told you guys a lie. 
Our lives will have their part in the lake of fire. Bible says, don't tell your children there's such a thing as Santa Claus. It's a lie. It's not true. How can Santa Claus bring gifts to everyone in the whole world? Come on, think a little bit further than that. <clears throat> he sees you everywhere. He knows where you're, you're good or bad. How is that possible? It's only God who knows where you are and what you're doing. <clears throat> He's omnipresent, omniscience, omnipotent. Not Satan. Satan is not omnipotent. <clears throat> Just a, a figurement of speech or a figurement of our imagination. A man who has got a big belly dress in red suit and a white long beard. And there's not just one, there's millions of them all over the world. And here they're saying there's only one who delivers all the gifts. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that's, that's a lie. You believe in Jesus? <clears throat> Do you believe in Jesus? Nah, I guess he's all plugged up. He's only got one thing in his mind, those Christmas decorations. Yeah. I have to admit, it's pretty. Well, not pretty enough in heaven. Heaven will be billions and billions. I don't imagine more prettier than this. <clears throat> Where there will be no sin, no sorrow, no pain, no suffering, no death, completely happiness and glory. Are you guys ready for that? Where is your soul going to end up after you die? We're all going to die one day. Is this this, this your destiny in hell or in heaven? <clears throat> I hope it'll be in heaven. That's why I'm here. I love you enough to tell you the truth, but not too many people would do it. Too coward. Too many cowards in this world. Too afraid to speak up God's name. Because they're going to be persecuted and hated. Well, that's okay. It's understanding. It's been predicted. And here people say the Bible was written by man. Well, a lot of prediction in there has been come true. And I have been testing it. And I've been a t I have a testimony. It happened to me. <clears throat> and who cares? I don't care. As long as God thinks of me, that's what's important. I don't care what, how many people think of me. They can tell, they can say whatever they want. Give me the finger, F me off, maybe beat me up, be a bit violent. <clears throat> that doesn't bother me. What, I would, what would bother me is what God could do to me. Yes, I fear Him. I don't fear people who can kill my body, but I will show you who you should fear. Fear God who has killed and has the power to cast you into hell. Yes. That's how powerful he is. And there's nothing you can do about it. There's no mercy on that day when you die. When you face Jesus Christ, your destiny is fixed. And there's certainly no purgatory. And not a lie. And that's from the Catholic religion. Imagine all these priests telling you there's a purgatory. And if that's a lie, they're all going to hell. Yes. All the priests, the Pope, the Bishop, and the Cardinals, and the parishioner are on their way to hell for telling a lie like that. And there's many other things that the Catholic religion tells you that's also a lie. Mary didn't have any other kids. Well, the Bible says she did. She had four sons and daughters after Jesus Christ. And why does the Catholic say she was a pepper virgin? Not a lie. What's the most lying thing happening on December 25th or even during the Advent season? Telling your kids there's a Santa Claus. There's no such thing as a Santa Claus. Why don't you tell them the truth? Why lie to them? Give yourself credit that you're the one who bought those gifts for those kids, not Santa Claus. You're downgrading the parents <clears throat> ability what they can do yes walk with Christ walk with Christ he's the only way the only truth the only life yes God created that dog did you know that he did created that beautiful dog 
and he knew he was going to be born today and give it to you. Yep. I have two cats at home and they're so cute. Yes, they and I know they were created by God. But I talk to God more than I talk to my cats. <clears throat> yeah. My cats are cute. They're wonderful. They're friendly. But they're secondary. Well, they're on the third level. My family is second. My friends is fourth, I would say. And my neighbor is fifth. And after that are my kittens. That's why I love my neighbor. I'm here for the one reason. To tell him the truth. To come to Christ. He's the reason for the season, and people don't think of him at that time. What a shame. I don't blame them. He wasn't born on December 25th anyway. That's another lie. Boy, I could name a lot of lies that's being perpetrated by people everywhere. Everybody lies to each other. How can you trust a friend when he keeps lying to you? You know, if you knew how many friends lied to you, they would not be your friends anymore. Mm. Anyway, I forgive them if they lie to me. But what I'm doing right now, they don't like what I'm doing. They become my enemies. They don't want me anymore. They refuse me to be part of them. But that's okay. I should not be part of them. I should not partake with the wicked and the sinners. I should not even have supper with them. I got to got to separate myself how can i be <clears throat> in the light and associate with people who are in darkness it doesn't match it doesn't work together yes walk with christ you celebrating christmas today or this year No other religion will save you. It is all, it are, it's only through Jesus Christ because he's the only one who died on the cross for you and me. No one went through the same way he went through. <clears throat> oh, praise the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the judge of judges, the Alpha and the Omega the first and the last, the beginning and the end. I'm not here today to represent any denomination or, or specific religion. I'm a, I am here to present you to Jesus Christ, the one who died for you and for me, the one who shed his blood for us on the cross, the one who calls all men and all women everywhere to repent because he's coming a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness. <clears throat> I'm here also to preach about the name of Jesus Christ, where the Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things are made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. Jesus Christ humbled himself to the point where he came and lived a sinless life. He was born of a virgin, lived a holy and perfect and sinless life for over 30 years, had a ministry lasted for about three years. He performed miracles and signs and wonders, attesting to who he was. Even God the Father spoke from heaven during the year of his ministry to attest the fact that he is his son <clears throat> and that we should hear him and that he was well pleased with him. The same Jesus Christ suffered in the hands of the sinners not much different than many of you, he suffered in the hands of sinners. And he allowed them to beat him, to bruise him, to crucify him, to put him to death on the cross. He could have called on legion, legions of angels to deliver him from this. He didn't have to die. 
on the cross for you and me, but he did it on his own free choice because he cares for you enough to want you to be saved, to want you to have a forgiveness of sin and cleansing of your sins and reconciliation to the Father. The Bible says in Isaiah 53, 5 to 9, but he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our, for our peace is upon him. And by a stripe we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own ways. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before its shears is silent. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who will declare his generation? For he was cut off from the land of the living for the transgression of my people. He was stricken and he made his grave with the wicked, but with the rich at his death. Because he has done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Who was he speaking of? Who was Isaiah predicted 700 years before his birth that he said that? Isaiah predicted that 700 years before. Now he was talking about Jesus Christ. Yes. We celebrate his birthday on December 25th. Why? But most people, what they do during that time, they just have a good time, get drunk, watch porn, watch dirty movies, had sex outside of marriage, get drunk, have, get into parties, smoke pots, smoke marijuana. That's what they do during Christmas time. <clears throat> anyway, they think they're celebrating Jesus. He was not born on the 25th anyway. The reason why we don't even know when he was born is because Jesus didn't want us to know. Because he knew how we would have celebrated. And why do we always put him in a, a little baby in a manger? He's not a baby anymore. He's 33 years old. <clears throat> when they celebrate your baby, do they put you like a, a picture of you as a baby? No, they put you at the age as you are. But no, they do it to Jesus Christ. He's a little baby in a manger. Yeah, but he's not there anymore. He's up there on the right hand of his father. Yes. Come to Christ. That's what you should be celebrating. <clears throat> Maybe forget about celebrating Christmas. <clears throat> if, we're pe if people are going to celebrate it in that irrelevant way, irreverently way, cursing his name, blaspheming his name. <clears throat> yeah, OMG here and OMG there. God this and God that. <clears throat> JC. Holy this and holy that. Yes. Would you say that to your mother? Would you call your mother that way when you're cussing? When you get angry? Of course not. Why? Because she gave you life. Yeah, but what did Jesus did to you? He gave you life too. A life. And he's the only one who could give you that life. <clears throat> talk to Jesus. Share the gospel with your friends. Don't be afraid to talk about him. You're going to see him one day. <clears throat> Get yourself ready. I implore you. <clears throat> yes. Walk with Christ. Come to Christ. Believe in Jesus. <clears throat> And here the B people says that the Bible was written by man. Well, Isaiah proved to you it was not. Because no one could have predicted that. Only God could have told that to Isaiah about this future event that was going to happen. Believe that the Bible is, is inspired by God, folks. The reason why you say it was man-made, because you don't like what it says, isn't it? You just... 
you just don't like his words because it's convicting you because it's telling you to do something you like to do and he's telling you to stop it it's like a little kid with his toys you take his toy he's gonna cry like a little baby and get angry and on the floor kicking his his feet <clears throat> that's what you, most people are you believe in Jesus I guess you don't you probably believe in a different kind of Jesus I don't think it would be the same Jesus of the Bible because when I start reading the Bible it certainly was the one that they told me about boy was I shocked he is merciful yes he is but he is very very judgmental and he's very angry at what is going on and he's angry about the way people celebrate his birthday yes he is very angry wait till he come back a second time you know there will a lot of be there will be a lot of people who will cry out for the rocks to bury them and be buried underground and want to hide in a cave because they could not face his anger and his wrath pour on to the sinner that day is coming that also has been predicted believe it's gonna come <clears throat> I don't know if it'll come during my time but it's possible if you guys are young and you do live the same age as me as long as I have you might li uh, see it get yourself ready before it comes get right with God I got I got some news flash for those people who think that the Bible was written by man <clears throat> there's no way he could have found out and say that if it wasn't revealed to him that he was inspired because he was inspired Jesus Christ into this world to lay down his sinless life for you to pay for your sins because you could not Jesus is your only hope for salvation only by receiving him as your savior can you enter the gates of heaven this is why jesus christ command all men and all women to repent because there is a day in which he will judge the whole world in righteousness when the angel came down with uh, two thousand years ago to the shepherds who living out in the field keeping watch over their flocks by night bringing a message a good message of tidings of great joy <clears throat> and that they will find a babe in a wrapped in swaddling clothes Luke 2 10 to 12 and the angel said to them do not be afraid for behold I bring you good tidings of great joy which will be to all people for there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior whose Christ is the Lord and this will be designed to you assigned to you that you will find a babe wrapped in a swaddling clothes lying in a manger <laughs> I preserve the reason why you are here this evening or those who are walking by this evening it must be because all these wonderful lights and decoration in this park well that is not the reason why I'm out here but it's a sure a good location for me to be here right now for what I want to say I came down here to give to give you a different message that I call to spread that all I meet that Jesus Christ is no more a baby but is a man of 33 years old he will come back a second time on this earth not as a suffering servant but as as a conquering conquering king seeing all of you this evening I wonder how many of you are thinking of Jesus Christ right now or how many of you are talking to your children about him or among yourselves is he not the reason for the season that you should share and tell them about him is Santa Claus more in your mind than your kids mind than Jesus Christ 
What about all the presents uh, that you all hope to get? Not just one, but many. Is that also in your mind? Christmas time is the worst time for everyone, especially for professing Christians. It is the time where everyone are coveting. I want this, I want that, I want more of this, I need this, and I need that. And if I don't get it, I will not be happy. That is why you are telling your family, <coughs> members and friends, long before Christmas, what you want so they don't give you gifts you do not want. What happened? In the olden days, we just wanted to be surprised. Today, they want all sorts of computer games, some with violence in them, <clears throat> electronic gadgets, computers, this and that, <clears throat> TVs, screens. Coveting is a sin. If you do not repent of it and you die in your sin, you will end into the lake of fire, my friend. All those who will go to a party getting drunk getting high on drugs, eat more than what they need, being in glutton, fornicating, use God's name in vain, watch porn and violence movies. It, it is all about me, me, me. It is a world of a donistic society of pleasure and comfort, having, having a good time with family and friends in that and not even sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why are you celebrating Christmas then? Jesus Christ is not in your, <clears throat> in your, is not in your decision when you get, to get together. You're only talking about the pleasure of the world, which is the, pr the pleasure of the, the eyes eh, and the eye and the lust, of, the lust of the flesh and the proud of life. And being friend with the world and not a friend of God and his John Jesus Christ. James 4.4 4 says, Adulterers and adulteresses, <clears throat> if you are friends of the world, you make yourself an enemy of God. Whoever is a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Yes. <clears throat> Christmas is mostly a big celebration and nothing else really. James, you believe in Jesus, walk in Jesus, talk with Jesus, you share. <laughs> Let me ask you this question. How would you feel if someone organized a birthday celebration on your behalf at a restaurant? but does not invite you to come. Huh, that would be funny, hey? And, and quite unusual. What about they did invite you to a restaurant and with all your family member and members and friends and they come with no present to give you, leave you alone in the corner of the room, not talking to you or about you among themselves, just complete ignoring you as if you're not there do not offer you to pay for your meal don't sing a song to congratulate you on your birthday all they do is talk and talk and talk about themselves and what they did but do not care all you fear fear about what you have been doing <clears throat> let's say they just before they leave. You found out all the time that they were talking behind your back, ta talking about jokes of you. Not goo, good with it. Well, my friend, that is ag exactly what the whole world is doing to Jesus Christ every time they celebrate his birthday at Christmas time. And besides, December is, is not his birthday. He was not born on that month. Did you know that? Well, that is why I'm here, trying to tell you what you need to hear. But most don't want to hear what they need to hear. They only want to hear what they want to hear. 
but I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to tell you the truth. Truth sets you free. People who tell you the truth, they love you. If they don't tell you the truth, they hate you. They are lying to you. I wouldn't want to be a friend to someone that keeps lying to me. <clears throat> How can I trust him? Well, you can trust in Jesus Christ, that's for sure. Yes. You know why I can trust him? Because everything he said he was going to do, he did it. <clears throat> he did everything that he was going to do. And even that, he knew way before the foundation of this earth what he was going to do. He even knew that he would have to go on the cross and die on the cross because uh, him knowing what would happen when he created us. <clears throat> You know what, if I knew something like that ahead of time that I would have to go through, I would say, forget it. They're not worthy. I'm not going to go and die and get myself tortured and be persecuted and be hated <clears throat> for that. Let them die and go to hell. But I, in fact, maybe I wouldn't even create them. <clears throat> well, he did create us. Even when he knew he would have to go through that. What an amazing God we have in Jesus Christ. That's true love. That is true love. He loved me first. I love him back. I thank him for what he has done for me. Because I was a wicked sinner. A terrible sinner that I am ashamed of what I've done. But he was so patient with me. He could end my life while I was doing it. But he didn't. He didn't. Oh, thank you, oh Lord, for that. He opened my eyes, and I see clearly now. And I commit my life to him forever until I die. It's my way to show my appreciation for what he has done to me, especially for what I've done to him. Imagine if somebody, <clears throat> if I did that to somebody here, what I did to Jesus Christ, you would have left me and not be my friend again. You wouldn't want me to be your friend. Yes. I'm afraid that's the way he's been treated. You know who's the most hated man in this world? It's not Hitler. It's not Mao Zedong. It's not Pol Pot. It's Jesus Christ. He is the most hated. Unbelievable. Especially for what he has done. He is hated more than Hitler. There are people who idolize Hitler. There are people who believe what he did was right. But here... Jesus Christ did more than that and they hate him. Why don't you hate Satan? He's the one who hates you. He's the one who put us in this situation. Thanks to him. But no, <clears throat> he would not come and save you from damnation. He'll put you in the lake of fire. He wants you to be in the lake of fire. He's going to make sure you're in the lake of fire. Deny him. Don't follow him. There's a lot of people that I see and every time I go out and preach, they hail Satan. Can you believe that? They don't even know who he is. Wait till they see him. They will not hail him anymore. Oh, Father. Mm hmm well, I'm going to try to pass some gospel trap, but there's not too many people walking by in this park. I thought there would have been more than that. I guess it's on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday night, there's more. During work week, there's not too many. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm, I have other commitments on those weekends. Well, first of all, December 25th is on Sunday, so it will be useless to come in the park. <clears throat> on that day. You want something to read? <clears throat> Trivia questions about Christmas. If you want to know about Christmas, I bet you there's a lot of things you don't know about it. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. They just walk by, don't want it, do not care. Do not care. You want to read something? You want to read something? Okay. Well, you got to meet him one day. I was trying to help you to get ready. It's like when you're having some guests coming over for dinner. What do you do? You prepare a meal. You get organized. You 
take all the ingredients. Well, you want you have to cook things. You got to set up a, a table. <clears throat> And that's, well, like on Christmas time, people will decorate their tables, decorate their house, cr Christmas tree decoration, gifts underneath the tree. Oh, then you're preparing yourself for that. It doesn't come on its own, so you have to do some work. Well, that's what I'm doing here. I'm showing you how to work to make it to heaven because it's not an easy place to, to go. Many are taking the wide road of destruction. Very few are taking the narrow road of life. That's what Jesus said. You know, if I put, I have to put the percentage of how many people in this world population are going to hell. I would say 80 to 85 percent, or maybe more, are going to hell. 85 percent. I'm fine. I'm just riding my bike. But I can... 15 percent are only going to make it to heaven. You want to read something? Yeah? Get ready. Come to Christ, walk with Christ. <clears throat> you got a cell phone, you don't need to call him on the phone. Just call him where you are, he'll answer you. You can talk to him everywhere you are. Yeah. I talk to him every morning, every night, every day. He's on my mind. I read the Bible in the morning, I read the Bible in the evening or at night. I say my prayer, I thank him <clears throat> for what I done that day and how much he protected me from many damage i wake up in the morning i pray to him to say hello thank you for for the good night's sleep no thing nothing happened while i was sleeping you want to read something come to christ christmas is coming <clears throat> believe in him but you could forget christmas you don't really need to celebrate christmas anymore it's not required but I have no objection. If anybody wants to wish Christmas, there's nothing wrong with that. They could do it whatever they want. But I don't <clears throat> celebrate Christmas like I used to. I don't decorate my house as much anymore. We don't have too many gifts. I don't give gifts anymore. No. They have everything they need. They don't need any more. Because if they want more, that's covet coveting I don't want them to commit the sin of coveting you want to read something believe in Christ believe in Jesus he's the only way to the Father yeah yeah yes Father thank you Father praise the Lord Almighty God glorify him Worship him. He needs to be worshipped. He's not worshipped enough. You can worship everywhere and every every day, every second. Yeah. You want to read something about Jesus Christ? No? I guess you don't believe in me. Maybe if you start reading the Bible, you can be like me. <clears throat> yeah. It's, yeah, and that's one reason why I'm out here. I read the Bible, and it told me to go out and preach to the all nations, make them disciples, and baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Yes, folks, unless Jesus says in John 3, 16, uh, 14, 6, no, John 3.3 3. Unless you're born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. You must be born from above. You must receive the Holy Spirit dwelling inside of you. If you don't have that, you will not make it to heaven. Jesus says, unless you're born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. That is very serious. Nobody knows about that. Did you guys know about that, that you had to be born again? You're born once in the flesh, but you got to be born a second time in the spirit. There's an old saying, born once, die twice. Born, tw uh, born twice, die once. Yeah, when you think about it, it's true. You have to be born again. 
Yes, come. Be born again. Don't die in your sin. The Holy Spirit has to dwell inside of you. Your body is the temple of God. And when you have the Holy Spirit in you, He helps you to conquer sin. I can attest that. I don't do sin anymore. It's not hard for me to stop sinning. It is easy now. I have an advocate of, with God, with Jesus Christ. He's my mediator between God and man. Thank goodness for that. Because there was no way I could do this on my own. No way. It's impossible. I need the help of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. My responsibility is to make sure he stays in there, that I don't grieve him. That's why I don't want to go back to my sin. Just imagine if I go back to my sin, backslide, I separate myself from God. Whoa, that's awful. How could I do that? Imagine, if I'm separating myself with God, I cannot talk to him anymore. He will not listen to my prayers. So well, that's why I don't sin anymore. But if I do, there's possibility I could sin, but I don't want to sin anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm committed not to sin, but I don't know the future. I could sin, but if I do sin, I will repent of them immediately. Don't wait too long, do it now. That's one reason why the Holy Spirit is inside of you. If you do commit a sin, He reminds you immediately to forget to forgive and to repent of them. Okay, thank you very much. I'm gonna pray now. I know there's not too many people here right now. I might have to go somewhere else. Eh. Oh, Father, I'll pray. Believe in Jay. You guys want to read something? No, no, I guess not. No, I don't even. Yeah. How many did I hand out? How many gospel tracts did I hand out? Oh, why are you smoking cigarette? It's not good for your health. It's not good for your health. Your lungs are made to breathe oxygen, not to smoke cigarette. I care for you. You're going to have cancer. I don't know if you're smoking cigarette or marijuana because now... Our Prime Minister legalized marijuana and there's more addicted people now walking on the street. There are times when I could smell this marijuana smoke. <laughs> what a disgusting smell. Now we have to smell that now. Yes. It's funny, how come the sinners can push their beliefs down my throat? But when I want to show my belief or teach them the truth they said don't push your belief down my throat well you guys are doing the same to me what about being tolerant you want to read the bible is there God something bless about you, it my friend you believe in jesus i do uh, you are born again did you know you had to be born again every day <clears throat> that you must stop sitting if you're sinning, you're not born again. Make sure you stop sitting. Yeah. Anyway, Father, thank you for giving me this opportunity to be out here outside. Thank you it's not too cold because you know how I am in the cold weather. I have to wear a lot of clothes. But anyway, it's not bad right now. I feel comfortable. I'm not too cold. My left hand is a little bit cold because I'm holding my pole, which is in it's made out of metal, and it does attracts coal easily. And my gloves are not that thick. You want to read something? Nothing. Yeah. Trivia. Trivia question about. God bless you, sir. <laughs> trivia question about Christmas. Sorry? I said, God bless you, sir. Okay, you too. Yeah, God bless you. Have yourself a good day and Merry Christmas. You as well, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Yeah, you see, there's wonderful people in this world sometimes. Not too many. He's the only one that really shows some encouragement. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, where was I? Yes, thank you, Father. Well, I prepared the soil. I planted the seed. 
and I water the seed. Now it's in your hands. You take control. Only you can save them. I cannot do nothing about that. I cannot convince them. You can. You can save them. I cannot save them. I'm only giving them the message and the warning sign. If they take it, it's, then it's good for them. If they don't respond or anything or don't want anything about to do about it, then they're, that's their choice. They, take, they took the wrong choice. Unbelievable. But I'll pray for them, Father. Because you told me to pray my, to my enemies. Love them. Those who persecute you. Yes, these are the commands that you ask us to do. And we have to follow. All of them. Not the ones that we prefer. But even those we don't like. Or we, we find them hard. But I believe and I love your words. I love to hear your words. And I respect them. I love them all. And I'm not afraid to tell them to anyone. Even though it's going to hurt their feelings. I'm not here to make their feeling good. I'm here to wake them up. I'm like a spiritual defibrillator. They're, most of these people are dead. So I want to shock them so they can wake up and come back to life. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <clears throat> maybe I should tune up my defibrillator <laughs> by maybe saying better words and maybe come up with more flashy words and more convincing words. But the Holy Spirit gives me the encouragement. That's the most important thing. He does help me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You do help me find the word sometime. And all the time, there it's worse than other time. It must be because the way I'm feeling. I'm not putting the blame on on the Holy Spirit. It's not Him who's doing it. It's probably something else. But you know what? We know that the uh, heavenly wicked <coughs> places in the other world, they'll try to do everything possible to try to stop me from what I'm doing. Principality in wicked places. I don't remember that passage yet by in heart, but that's what it means. Right now I got a, a blank mind. And yes, they, these are, they'll come and attack you even more because of what I'm doing. I'm a threat to Satan. I am a threat to Satan. They'll come after me. But anyway, I got the Holy Spirit and God on my side. He will protect me. He'll protect anybody who is who has faith <clears throat> and live in faith and walk in the Spirit. Anyway, thank you, Father. I'm going to head on. Praise the Lord. Amen. If your hand or foot causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you. It is better for you to enter into life lame or maimed rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into the everlasting fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. It is better for you to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hellfire. Take heed that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that in heaven, their angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. Believe and trust in Jesus. Jesus says you must be born again or you will not see or enter the kingdom of God. He also said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. <coughs> And without him, you cannot come to the Father. <clears throat> no other religion will save you. It is only through Jesus Christ shed blood on the cross. He said, you must be baptized to wash away your sins and be born from above. 
to receive the Holy Spirit. You must die with Christ on the cross, my friend. He must live inside of you and you in Christ. Galatians chapter 2 verses 20 and 21. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live but Christ lives in me and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me once you have done that you become a child of God and a saint and you go on and sin no more just like he said to the adulteress who was going to be stoned what does born again means it means to repent forsake your sins put your trust in jesus christ and the holy spirit comes and lives inside you cleanses you change you off from the inside out and you're a new creature in Christ and you walk you will walk in the newness of life from there on second Corinthian chapter 5 verses 17 therefore if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation all things have passed away behold all things have become new what is baptism? It is God commands all men and all women everywhere to repent and that includes in uh, uh, that's, not, that's not what I want But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripe we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We turn everyone his own way. Trivia questions about Christmas. Yeah, you want it? God bless you, sir. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought, uh, brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before a sheep is done, so he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare a generation? He was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression believe in god believe in jesus christ that's the reason for the season this is the reason for the season believe in just jesus christ nothing deceit was found in his mouth first john 1 5 to 7 this is the message you want to read there you go. It's a trivia question. Gospel track about Christmas. Are you a Christian? No. You're not a Christian? Well, pass it around. Pass it around to these people. Share the gospel. Come in darkness. Will I? You want to read something? Trivia about Christmas. Some questions that you might not know about Christmas. Here, I'll give you one too. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Merry Christmas. Merry Galatians 2, 1, 20 and 21. I have been crucified with Christ and it is no longer I who live. You want this? Uh, what is that? Here, read it. Pass it around. Show it to your mother and father. Yeah. And by, by faith in the Son of God. God bless you who loves me and gave himself for me. I do not set aside the grace of God 
gospel, if, for if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died in vain. Second Timothy 3, 16 and 17. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God. And it is profitable doctor for draw, doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instructions in righteousness, that the man of God can be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good works. Matthew 22, 36 to 40. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. Isaiah 53, 5 to 9. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our, for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own ways. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before it cheers as silent. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who will declare his generation? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people, he was stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked. But with the rich had his death because he had done no violence, nor were any deceit in his mouth. Isaiah 55, 6 and 7. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him by while he is near. Oh, there's somebody here, Phil. Are you okay? Oh yeah, yeah. Are you okay? Yes, sir. I, I just I like to sit in the snow when it's re refreshing like that because I could sit there and I can write down all the good ideas that you didn't fall. I can write down all the good stuff I think. Of. Yeah. It could be about adding a new feature to the vehicle. You didn't uh, fall and break your leg or something? You're oh, okay? I wish. I no. Because my legs, they never break. Hey. It's a good thing. Yeah. They don't break. Because my auntie, she, she looked after me when I was a little boy. Yes. And I was very lucky. Yeah. Because my auntie was there. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Leo. Eel? Leo. 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 Yes. Oh. You from Ottawa? Yeah? Yeah? Sure. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Where are you going? I'm just enjoying the nice evening. Yeah. I'm not really sure. Yeah. I'm trying to enjoy myself. Yeah. How are you, man? Yeah, not bad. You live around here? Uh, my my father's got a, an apartment around here. Uh, okay, you go and stay with him? You stay with him? Yeah. Yeah. I You're a, You believe in God? Of course. Yeah? He believes in you, too. He created you. Well, I really hope so. <laughs> yeah, of course. I, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be alive. <laughs> All the glory goes to him. Yeah, that's right. And that's what I'm doing. I'm offering... I gotta learn how to be more... Yes. You gotta believe in him and you gotta you. live holy. You must live pure. You must stop sinning. You must be born again. Did you know that? It doesn't matter how bad I feel or how bad someone makes me feel because it's gonna pass. Were you uh, raised... What kind of religion you were raised? Um, there never... I just didn't really pay no mind to it because I was just so young. 
Mm -hmm. Are you working? No, I'm, I'm actually not well right now. You're not well? I used drugs for a long time. And yeah, well. It damaged me. I know it does. Are you still on them? No? Well, how long have you been off of them? Uh, not long at all. Hmm. What is it, marijuana? Cocaine? It's marijuana, cocaine, and alcohol. Yeah, unfortunately, they are easy access uh, available right now, thanks to our Prime Minister. There's more people who are on drugs now because of it and become addicted where they would never been if it wasn't legalized. My son is also on, my two sons are smoking marijuana. We don't need it. Say, no, I know we don't we need it. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's gonna harm you, just like cigarette. And it costs a lot. Anyway, Leo. Okay, I'll show I you hope. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. Your your hands are cold. No, I'm. You got gloves? Oh yeah. Anyway, I'll give you see it. This Christmas is coming, like they say. Do you believe in? Uh, do you celebrate Christmas? You gonna celebrate with your dad? Yeah. Where's your mother? Okay, she's passed away, eh? You miss her? Mm -hmm. She misses me just as so much. Yeah, if she's in heaven. She is in heaven. Yeah, well then. I she's with the Lord. If you want to go with her at the same place as her, That's be like what you did. World, my mom. Eh? That's my best friend in the whole world. Yeah. Well, if she's in heaven. No, I want to go to heaven where she is. I really yeah, do. yeah. Well, she's it there. Make sure you make it. Okay, Leo? Here, read this. It's something about Christmas, if you want to read it. Do you want something else? Maybe, uh... uh. That's beautiful. All right. You're Thank a good man. All right, Leo. Take it easy. God bless you. I love you. I want you to make it to heaven, Leo. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. All right, take it easy, okay? Get off drugs. I'm Try getting all out. emotional now, I'm sorry. Yeah. Take out, t get off drugs. Ask God for some help. He will offer you. I was a, I was a terrible person in my days. When you were young, I, I was sinning like crazy. And I changed my life around. It I makes always it easy. to think it's okay when it's not. I know. Well, at least you know, there's something you can do about it. You know, it, it takes one, your first step, it's the hardest one, Leo. And you can make it. I'm sure you can make it. You're strong enough, you're young, you're healthy. But if you keep on doing what you're doing, you, your health is gonna go away. You don't wanna end your life too soon in the condition you are, Leo. Please, Leo. I hear Please you. think I hear about you, it. Sir. Please think about it. Because it's family, man. We only get one. Well, in this world, we get one. How about your father? Is he okay too? Clean. Hmm? Is he okay? Successfully clean for three years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a big change. But uh, you know what, sir? You know why I don't bother? Like, I try to, but at the end of the day, I, I just re prefer not to, uh, you know, like. Yeah. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that, please. If you do that, Leo. I gotta let it go. You're not gonna make it to heaven. I'm sorry, Leo. Don't do that. I have to warn you. I'm gonna go. I'm I gonna know. Go. I'll <laughs> talk in the morning with somebody. Yeah, I'm. I'm warning you. I don't want to, you to go there, but because it's a serious thing if you do that. No more you drugs. You can't kill. No more drugs. No more drugs. But don't think about killing yourself. That's the thing. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. But that's what it is. Yeah, I know. I could see that. You're depressed. You're. Uh, you're at a point where. It, you want to give up your life because you feel there's no way out. There's a way out, Leo. There's a way out in Jesus Christ. Trust in Him. Believe in Him. You have a Bible at home? You have four Bibles? Because if you didn't have one, I could have given you one. Read the Bible of John, the Gospel of John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Start with John, at least. Okay, Leo? That's okay. where I found out about Jesus Christ. I was raised Catholic and I changed. I'm not a Catholic anymore. 
I'm a Bible believer, Bible obeying, born again Christian. That's what I am now. I have Jesus Christ in me and the Holy Spirit. And that's for sure, certain, 100%. You have the Holy Spirit in you and your te in his body. You're his body. Your body is his temple. Let him live in there and he'll help you. Okay, Leo, please. I'll pray for you, okay, Leo? I'll pray for you tonight. All right? Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord. Take care of Leo. Make sure he walks. He, I, he, I, I can tell that he's really working hard to try to make his life better. Please, oh Lord, do not forget him. Please reveal yourself to him as soon as possible before it gets too late. Come to Leo. He needs your help. He's asking for some help. You can see he's crying. He's merciful. He wants to forgive in godly sorrow. I think he is really feeling bad about what he's doing. You, you know exactly what he does, uh, uh, his, his intention. Please don't for, forget him. Come to him, oh Lord. I pray you and your son through your son, Jesus Christ. All right, Leo. Take Amen, it easy. brother. Take it easy. We'll, we'll be seeing you sooner than later, yeah. sir. All right, take it okay. easy. Hey, I'll have a nice surprise for you. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, you're, cool you know what the surprise would be if you're a changed man? That would be my gift from you at Christmas time. Maybe you and I could go out and preach. That's what I do, eh? Okay. I go out and, and I preach in street corners, try to pe save people's lives, and that I want them from great. hell. Save them from hell. Want them all to go to heaven. I love them all. I love my neighbors. You, I love you, you too, know, Leo. You know, not many people see that, but I do. Yeah. All right. And I appreciate you. Walk, walk, walk in the right path, okay, of salvation. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he hears you, you have gained your brother. But if he will not hear, Take with you one or two more, that by the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he refuses to hear them, tell it to the church. But if he refuses even to hear the church, let him be to you like a heathen and a tax collector. Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. If you want to be perfect, go, sell your possessions, and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Give therefore to Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and give unto God those things which are God's. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, so you must be careful to do everything they tell you. But do not do what they do, for they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy, cumbersome loads and put them on other people's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to lift a finger to move them.
But you do not be called rabbi, for one is your teacher, the Christ, and you are all brethren. Do not call anyone on earth Father, for you have one Father, and he is in heaven. And do not be called teachers, for one is your teacher, the Christ. Christ. 